after that disturbing story. Children bitten by rats inside their home. Family says they see the rats every day. Their droppings littering the apartment. And tonight they say they're fed up. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang. A Bronx family lives in fear. Their doors are locked, but they're still not safe. They tell me the rats are now attacking their children. Really scared. Nine-year-old Adela Vargas was sleeping in her bed when a rat, we're told, bit her pinky toe and clamped down until Adela's mother beat it away with a broomstick. That was a week ago. Her wound is still open. There was a lot of um, blood everywhere. I started crying and I called an ambulance. A few days before that, Adela's six-year-old brother, Wesley Vargas, was bit on the finger. I hear the sounds of the rats. I hear it everywhere. Maria has seen them in her baby's crib, and there are rat droppings in the children's dressers. Maria and her eight children live here at 1701 Eastburn Avenue in the Claremont section of the Bronx. After Adela was attacked, the health department ordered the landlord to fix the problem. The city says they already fined the building twice in the spring for violations. When we arrived, the walls were freshly painted, but there are still gaping holes here, open portals for the rats to enter. The family says they got these rat traps from the health department about a week ago. Every day they catch a few rats. Every day, more come inside. Here are just some of the rats they have caught. For this family, their home is not safe. When I was sitting on a couch, I felt something in my back, and it was like a rat. And then when I got scared, mal, mal. I feel bad. Yo no quiero que mis hijos estén pasando por eso. I don't want my children to be passing through those stuff. Maria says she can't even keep groceries in her house because the aggressive rats will get to it first. Meanwhile, right across the street is a school with even more open rat traps.